the study evaluated tezinolizumab given every three weeks, 1,200 milligrams. Well, this trial also looked at the role of PDL1 expression in the tumor immune cells, not the tumor cells, but in the immune cells. And what was found was that there was a better response rate of about 25 to 27 percent, if I remember correctly, uh, in those patients who were two or three, and that began to uh, become less prominent as the PDL1 staining decreased uh, in the in the tissue specimens. So uh, overall, the response rate was about 15 percent, and. Um, uh, but again, if you enrich the population for those patients who are strong expressors of PDL1 in the immune cells, those patients will do better. So in the phase one trial, we found that there was no correlation between tumor cell expression of PDL1 and outcome. In the immune cells, there was a relationship. In fact, those patients who were either 2 plus or 3 plus in the phase one trial, their median survival was going to be at least 14 months and had not been reached, whereas the median survival was somewhat shorter in those patients who were zero to one. It's about six to seven months. So uh, the expression does seem to correlate with better outcome.